how many minutes are there in one hour we know it is 60 how many hours are there in one day we know it is 24 so these quantities are fixed or we can say that these are constant so over here minutes in an hour is a constant hours in one day it is a constant because they have fixed values values which do not change now if I ask you how many days are there in one month well you may say 30 for some months 31 for some months 28 for some month so this value is not fixed it varies hence it is a variable so days in a month is a variable because it depends on which month we are talking about so the values which are not fixed and with change and depend on something are called variable now if I tell you that month under consideration is July and my question remains the same how many days are there in one month then it will be 31 over here this becomes a constant and days in one month becomes a constant because we are talking about a specific month July so the same quantity which is days in a month it was variable in the earlier case whereas it is a constant in this case so the same thing can be a variable or a constant in different situations say you go to an amusement park and in this amusement park you have an entry fee of rupees 50 now once you enter the park there is a rides fee which depends on the number of rides you take so apart from the entry fee you have to pay the rides fee so the total amount you spend on your visit to the amusement park is entry fee plus rides fee so that becomes rupees 50 plus rides fee now this entry fee here it is fixed as soon as you enter the park you have to pay this fixed amount so it is a constant whereas this rides fee it varies because it depends on the number of rides you take so if you take more rides it will be higher if you take lesser number of rides it will be lower so it is a variable so we can instead of writing rides fee again and again we can represent it by a symbol so we can write 50 plus we can take any alphabet say we can take R we can take X, Y, Z, anything. We can write a 50 plus a smiley. So we can write any symbol. Normally we use letters. So we write total amount spent is 50 plus R. Where R is a symbol for rights fee which is a variable. So R is a symbol for rides fee and rides fee we need to represent it by a symbol because we do not know its value its value it's no, is not fixed for your friend it might be rupees 30 for you it might be rupees 40 so depending on person to person it may vary depending on the number of rides you may take it may vary so we represent it by a symbol R so here we have added a constant and a variable so we can add a constant to a variable so here it is r added to 50 a variable added to a constant we can write it as 50 plus r we can write it in both both of these ways but normally 
we write it like this 50 plus r another important thing to note over here is 50 plus r is the same as r plus 50 because this is addition so whether you add 50 to r or you add r to 50 it remains the same you visit the amusement park after you have entered the amusement park you have rupees 200 left with you in your pocket again as before there is a rights fee depending upon the number of rights so if I ask you how much amount will be left with you after you exit the park it will be rupees 200 minus the amount you spend on rights so 200 minus rights fee again the rights fee here it is not constant it is variable because it depends on the number of rides you take whereas 200 is a constant it is the fixed amount which you have with you once you enter the park so it is 200 minus rights fee we can again represent rights fee by a variable and we represent it by r and write 200 minus r so total amount left is 200 minus r here we have subtracted a variable from a constant so a constant minus a variable we can write it as 200 minus r or using symbols 200 minus r this is most commonly used 200 minus r now is this the same as r minus 200 no this is not the same because here we are subtracting r from 200 and here we are subtracting 200 for, from r say for example you spend rupees 40 on rides so in this case the amount left will with you will be 200 minus 40 which is equal to 160 over here it will be 40 minus 200 which is equal to minus 160 this is not equal to this so these two quantities are not equal so let us solve a question the height of a baby is constant over time is it true or false well the height of a baby over time we know that as the baby grows and develops over time his height increases so it is not constant but it varies with time and hence this statement is false so variable is made of vary and able vary means change and able means can so variable is something which can change or which is able to change or vary so variable is a symbol for an unknown quantity it is a value that varies or it is a symbol which can be given different values so this is variable and what is a constant a constant is a symbol that has a fixed value yes constants could also be represented by symbols for example speed of light is represented by a symbol c but it has a fixed value which is three followed by eight zeros meters per second so this is the speed of light so instead of writing such huge number 
we represent it by a symbol c but this is a constant or a constant could be any number like minus 8 root 5 any number is a constant